morning blazers I just wanted to tell you guys about um, a new scam that's been going on and I nearly got hit by it yesterday but I just wanted to let you know because I was uh, dealing with it and it seemed legit um, but what happened basically was there's a new Facebook um, scam going on in the marketplace right now um, so what happens is you post a item that you want to sell and you know the potential buyer gets in contact with you the normal way is it available you click yes all that kind of jazz and then um, you have your normal conversations and all that kind of th and all that kind of stuff and then all of a sudden um, now sometimes you have items that are inexpensive as you know so I had an item that we were just um, selling for fifty dollars um, and after the you know the normal intro that you have in regards to the item and messaging with the individual um, they all of a sudden turn around and say oh I've got to send this through a bank account uh, sorry a business business account and all that kind of stuff so your your first warning is through a business account I didn't really think much of that because you know a lot of people have businesses and they transfer um, you know via business accounts but then what happens is I, I just said look you know paying by pay ID is is easier so just you know transfer it and then you can come and pick it up the next day so then you do your normal you know here are my details and who's coming and all that kind of fun stuff um, then all of a sudden because it was an inexpensive you know item um, one it was kind of weird that it was going through pay ID so the item was only for fifty dollars and you know everyone can ruffle uh, you know fifty dollars on the day with no drama so it was kind of weird that you know this person wanted to give me fifty dollars um, you know electronically so anyway I didn't think much of it um, and I didn't didn't know of this scam until yesterday um, so what had happened then was you know I gave her my mobile number to just do the transfer all that kind of stuff so she goes ahead and does it and then and then gets prompted and says oh you know they need your email address um, for verification because oh, I'm sending it through a business account didn't think much of it as, at the time gave her one of my email addresses um, she then sends me this email that looks legit now at first as I said it looks legit so you're looking at it and you're going you know that they want you know they want to send you uh, $50 blah, blah blah but you need to update your account I've never heard of upgrading my account to a business account for pay ID this is something that is just meh what, what is that all about so I then said look you know gave her a screenshot of, of the email that was sent and said look you know it's asking for that never seen it blah blah, blah. and she's like oh I've sent you you know um, now this email all of a sudden was pre pretending to send me more than fifty dollars it was pre sending me three hundred and fifty dollars so I was like and then it was basically saying because it's a business account once you upgrade to a business account then um, we can release um, the fifty dollars to you and you can return three hundred bucks back to them and I was like this is a bit you know shonky and she was getting well it was pretending to be a lady on the other side um, so all of a sudden then she was like oh you know I trust pay ID blah blah, blah they're legit this that that and I was like, yeah, that's fine, but you know, as you guys know, pay ID once you send via via contact number, it instantly goes across. There's no three days waiting and all that kind of nonsense. So the email, although it looked legit, was saying that this is the case, and I was like, eh. Um, and then you know, the fraudster on the other side. Let's call them the fraudster because I don't know if they were female, male, whatever. They were fraudster. Um, no gender bias here but anyway um, 
So they kept, you know, trying to get me to follow those instructions, and because I am not, you know, a person that, you know, you can fool easily, I kept looks and saying, look, you know, the money should instantly be there if you've sent me three hundred and fifty dollars. Once it hits my account, I'll send it back to you, the three hundred bucks, and then your so-called cousin can come and pick it up. Blah blah blah. Anyway, it, she tried, or they tried, the fraudster tried for a, for a while, and it didn't happen. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys what this email looks like and what to look for. Um, in the email, it looks very legit. It's got everything. Um, the heading is a bit off because you know, everything's in capital, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the one thing that you should be looking at is... Um, the email when you open it don't worry about opening it there's no attachments or anything that can um, can cause it uh, cause any harm to you um, the email you check the from um, section of the email and it will tell you that it's you know brought to you by like if don't look at the name look at the actual email address that it's come from so it was saying pay ID and then it's got a number and then it says at gmail.com so when I saw that I was like okay something's up here and by this time because the fraudster was nagging and saying look you know I believe in karma blah 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 all that nonsense right because she was thinking that I was not releasing money to her whereas I had not got a cent so and the cool thing was I had no money in my account you know at the time so it was easy to see if the money hit my account so then um, before I saw the pay ID you know fake email address because she was you know whinging and playing the um, playing the damsel in distress and I've lost money and now I have to borrow money from my cousin to release give it to you again blah 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 all that nonsense so I got two emails and I'll going to show you both emails um, basically the first one says that she's going to release it the second one um, that the the fraudster sends you um, says that they've you know you've updated your account so the second email tells me that I've updated my account but I hadn't done anything to my account now at this time while she he or she or the fraudster was doing all this um, I had told her that I had told the fraudster to to call the bank because I wasn't sure if this was legit or not. I said, look, if you have really done it, call your bank and they can sort it out for you. And I, and I said, I'm on the phone with my bank to release this and to fix it for you. Now, what I had done just at that point, basically, had made the fraudster sort of stop, you know, whinging and stop talking and... Sh they did try a couple of times, but I said, look, I'm on the phone. I'll let you know as soon as I got something. Now, I was on my on the phone with my bank on hold for a while. It is the, you know, it is the weekend, Saturday. Um, but because, you know, I wanted to make sure that this, you know, I wasn't affected or anything weird like that. I held the phone and, um, you know, got, got through to customer service initially, told them about my issue and they put me straight through to um, you know the fraud team and all that kind of stuff and I spoke to an uh, awesome gentleman over there uh, and basically they said yeah it's a it's a current scam that's going on through the Facebook marketplace um, that they they will contact you and are interested and then pretend to send you money and then ask you for your email address and then they send you this these two emails that I'm that you know that I'm showing you guys, and basically he said, look, have you know he's done he's done the checks, double checking, have I sent any money across? I said, no. I said, look, there was no there was no money to go across in the first place. So the clue is, you guys know with pay ID the money goes instantly in your account. So if you don't see any money account in your account, and they pretend that they have sent you something, don't believe it, just ignore them, 
Um, this is what the fraud guy at the bank told me. Just ignore them, you know, um, block them and all that, and then report it. So, as you can see with this video, I want to let you guys know, all the blazers out there and everyone out there, that this is some, you know, nasty nonsense that's going on. So, even with your Facebook Marketplace, you've got to be cautious and careful. Um, so, guys, yeah, it's just a warning. Um, I I say uh, maybe don't don't delete don't delete the uh, emails if you want to report it to um, the scam hotline and fraud and all that kind of stuff. Keep them as evidence, and you know keep keep your keep your conversation so you can report all that stuff. But in a nutshell, uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, I thought this was a important update to let you guys know. Although it wasn't my normal tech videos, but this is just a, a you could say it's a public service announcement. Um, but I think security in regards to finances and things like that, very important, guys. Um, so yeah, send this video across to anyone um, that's a, that's you know being triggered by this or can be triggered by this. Let let them know. Um, of this uh, new scam that's going on uh, it's very important very key to stop this kind of behavior um, anyway I'll see you guys on the next one like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and um, see you on the next one thanks for watching